Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Charlie Starr. I am a YouTube astrologer and tarot reader. You can book a reading with me at charliestar.com. Today I just wanted to do a little collective reading for you guys and I wanted to do like the pick a card method. So you can pick a card, card one, card two, or card three. Just think right now in your head whether you are wanting card one, card two, or card three. Got it? Okay, great. I'm shuffling my cards. I do also want to let you guys know that you can support me at patreon.com forward slash Charlie Star and that I am also on Spotify at the Charlie Star Podcast. Okay, if you picked card number one, we have picked the Emperor. Okay, you guys, the Emperor. So this has a very Saturnian energy. Um, I'm being told that some of you guys are experiencing your Saturn return. So if you guys don't know what your Saturn return is, please look it up. Um, also, for some of you, this is a reminder to get yourself in order because the emperor has to do with order and structure. This is the number four. This is the ruling energy of numbers and also of time. And so um, linear time and order and structure. And so a lot of you right now are in kind of like a chaotic energy and it's time for you to organize. So lists, I'm hearing make lists, make lists of the things that you need to do. Um, pick the top three priorities for you guys and focus on getting structure and order in those three areas of your life immediately. Ah, number two, we picked the Fool card. So the Fool card is a card that is all about fresh beginnings and energies. So for the Fool card, I'm getting, let me pull a confirmation card. Ooh, it's time to start something new. And I hate to tell you this, but that means that there is a major ending that needs to take place because it's like you need to, I'm hearing, be a child again. You need to go back to the basics. That's another thing that I'm hearing. So you need to learn how to learn again. Um, it's kind of like with the Fool card, um, what I'm getting from this is that you have forgotten how to be the student. You've learned how to be the teacher, you've learned how to share your insight, share your wisdom, how to do what it is that you do really well, and um, you have kind of become a little bit too fixed is what I'm hearing, too fixed, too close-minded. You really need to um, go back to that childlike innocence and curiosity in the world and just open your mind a little bit more um, up to uh, what could be possibly be true, what could possibly be you know exciting for you. You think you know yourself, I'm hearing you think you know yourself, you don't actually know yourself. And there's things that would make you really, really happy that you've completely bypassed. So time to go back to the basics. Become a student again. Okay, if you picked card number three. Three of hearts. Okay, what's interesting is the three, or sorry, not three of hearts. There's a heart in it, but it's actually the three of swords because there's three swords that are being like plunged through the heart in this card. So this is, I'm hearing betrayal, I'm hearing heartache. Um, definitely this is a card of heartache. Um, this is the card of wounds, but what I'm actually hearing for you guys is that this is going to be the healing of those wounds and that there's just a very, very, there's a very loving sort of ethereal energy that I was getting before I even pulled this card for the number three. So, um, it really, really hurts you guys. You guys might be going through something really painful right now. Um, and this can be, um, you know, the end of a relationship or the betrayal of somebody that you love. Um, and if that's the case, I am so sorry. Um, there is healing coming. That's what I'm being told to tell you is that healing is being brought to you about the situation. Okay. And that is the reading for the day with Charlie Star. So um, I hope you enjoyed this reading. If you did, make sure to hit the like button and subscribe to my channel so you can get notified of more readings and horoscopes in the future. I also do my horoscopes on the Charlie Star podcast on Spotify. So make sure to go to Spotify and follow me there if you enjoy my astrology horoscopes. I do horoscopes for the new moons, the full moons, and for each month, updates for all of the signs, the rising sign and the sun sign. Thanks for watching.